federal government has repeatedly said radiation surrounding a former uranium plant could be coming from other sources. While many in the community didn't believe that, they had no way of actually proving it. Tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Dwayne Pullman shows how one family took an extraordinary step buying an expensive air monitor to show the contamination is connected to the facility right in their backyard. In a land where the Appalachians spill into the hills of southern Ohio, the breeze brings more than just wind. Radioactive elements are drifting around this, the now closed Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant, or PORTS, a massive complex that enriched uranium for America's atomic arsenal. In 2019, testing at the now-closed Zahn's Corner Middle School revealed enriched uranium inside. Samples in scientific studies have uncovered more uranium and particles associated with plutonium in the nearby environment, too. This is our home. Josh and Elizabeth Lamerson, who live just a half mile from ports, blame their neighbor for contaminating their community. When you worry about your children, what are you most worried about? Cancer. Pike County is at the top of the list for cancer rates in Ohio. The U.S. Department of Energy, or DOE, points to data it obtains from 15 air monitors it owns and operates around the plant to say those radioactive particles are significantly below limits set by state and federal environmental laws. Well, that's not in dispute. Where those particles come from is. In meetings and statements, DOE continues to say ports might not be the source of the radiation, that the contamination may be tied to fallout from nuclear bomb tests that happened decades ago. Did you get the truth from DOE? No. The Lamersons say they don't believe DOE. So you didn't trust them? No, absolutely not. But DOE controls the monitors and the message. Then Josh came up with an idea. <laughs> Just a harebrained idea. To buy his own monitor and check the air himself. I just figured if, if DOE could have them, we could have them. Forgive me, what's your degree in, sir? <laughs> I don't have a degree. <laughs> but his wife does. I have a degree in environmental biology. From Ohio University. So Josh convinced Elizabeth to spend $5,000 to buy and operate this. That doesn't look like five grand to me. <laughs> it doesn't. But inside this modest looking monitor is a state of the art machine. It is the same brand of air monitor that DOE uses. Here at the top, filters like this one capture particles with a clear purpose to discover what's in the air. Yeah. If it's here, yeah. it's everywhere. Exactly. Elizabeth began collecting those filters. You didn't have lined up a no. lab to examine this, right? When Correct. We put it then she met Dr. Michael Ketterer, a professor emeritus of chemistry and biochemistry at Northern Arizona University. Dr. Ketterer and Elizabeth teamed up. First, Elizabeth collected water, soil, and dust samples in an area surrounding the plant. Dr. Ketterer analyzed all of it for free. If I can help them, I will try to help them. In 2019, Dr. Ketterer released this report on Elizabeth's samples, concluding the ports facility is the source of the enriched uranium and is also the source of non-fallout neptunium and plutonium. Next, Dr. Ketterer turned his attention to the Lamerson's monitor to answer the question of what's in the air. Inside the Science and Health Building on the campus of Northern Arizona University, I met up with Dr. Ketterer at work in his lab, where he continues to cut up Elizabeth's filters and analyze them using a high-temperature argon plasma mass spectrometer. Dr. Ketterer plotted the particles he found from those filters on this graph that he says reveals enriched uranium captured by the Lamerson's air monitor that could not be naturally occurring. In March 2020, Dr. Ketterer released this report, concluding it is evident enriched uranium emissions from ports is the single explanatory source of the particles floating in the air and captured by the Lamerson's air monitor. How valuable do you think your monitor has been? I think it's very valuable. Why? I mean, it, because it gives us 
data that we can trust. Data that Dr. Ketterer and Elizabeth say reveals the truth about what's really in the air here. That there's contamination coming from the facility, from the DOE facility. I consider these to be pretty much the most important samples I've ever analyzed in my whole life. Dwayne Pullman, Local 12 News.